Hey guys, in DaVinci Resolve, by default, when we make a video selection and start to move the playhead around in the timeline, the selection itself is not going to change. It's going to stay in place, as you see. However, there is a way to change this behavior. So if we go to Timeline, and then under the menu, if we go ahead and select Selection Follows Playhead Option, now what this will allow us to do is to use the position of the playhead to determine video selection. So as you see there now, that when we change the playhead position in the timeline, the video selection is also going to follow along. And what this means is that any video that you see in the viewer is also going to be the currently selected video. Now, one area where this can become really handy is any operation that depend on the selection of a clip. So if we move our playhead right now and then make changes in the inspector panel, you will see that the change is going to get applied right away. Uh, it's because our selection right now is following the position of the playhead. Now, this is in contrast to if we don't have this feature turned on. And now if we move our playhead and then make changes in the inspector panel, what you will notice is that the change that we make is not going to get applied to the video that we're seeing in the viewers because the changes are still getting applied to the old video. So what we'll have to do is to manually select the video clip and then make changes in the inspector panel. Now we can see the change. So this feature can definitely be a big time saver, especially if you intend to perform this operation repeatedly. Another example is copy and paste. So when we move our playhead around in the timeline, the video that you see in the viewer, we can simply make a copy of it right now and then paste it uh, anywhere else in the timeline very easily. If we don't have this feature turned on, now when we move the playhead around in the timeline, what you will have to do is that the video that you see in the viewer will have to manually select it and then make a copy of it and then paste it uh, elsewhere in the timeline. So having this feature turned on for sure help you skip that extra step. So I hope this video helps guys and I will see you next time.